Okay, y'all. So I've got everything laid out. Uh, we're gonna start uh, with terminal tackle first because that's everything else is basically soft plastics. I didn't get a whole lot of hard baits with this order. Uh, so I can't remember if I was talking to Justin about these or if he told me, uh, like on a video, to get these. Uh, but these are the Switchblade regular size. I got the gold. I don't know who makes these. Queen Tackle Switchblades. They're on Tackle Warehouse. I got two of these. I'm going to make some of my six inch jigs into chatterbaits. That's why I bought those. Get those out of the way. I bought, I wanted to try some Japanese tackle. So I got these decoy big bite uh, finesse. Not sure what what model they are, but they're a size one, and it's just a drop shot hook. But it's got a like a uh, a wider opening, so that might be good for a wacky rig. I think I saw these. I saw these on somebody's unboxing. I have no idea who did it. I'm sorry, uh, but I stole this from your channel audio. <laughs> but these are the decoy multi sinker lock i got medium and small um these are for i saw that these were like on a free rig video so uh i'm gonna use these for the free rig i'm not i'm not sure who i got that off of though i'm sorry for stealing your stuff next up i got these because they were cheap and i wanted to try them out for the free rig so i got these bullet weights uh i got the 3 16 ounce I got these because uh, they have a circle eyelet. I got the quarter ounce, then I got the three eighths ounce. I don't really have a whole lot of heavy um, weights like these, so I, I wanted to try that. Then, lastly, for the terminal tackle, I got about three of these. I guess so. Okay, well, I got the decoy uh, drop sinker these were recommended by i think uh the hooked up tackle i think this is where i saw this it was one of their videos on the free rig uh and they said to get this one so i, I just gotta just try it i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> but i got the quarter ounce so I, apparently i got three quarter ounce packs and then i got a little bit heavier i got three eighths ounce pack i thought i had a i thought i had a three sixteenths but apparently i did Alright, so next we're just going to move on to the hard baits because I only have five. So I bought two spinner baits and I bought these because I really liked how they looked on the website. This is a pepper custom bait. This is a half ounce and this is true gill color. I just like the way that looked on the website. I've never tried this spinner bait before so I hope it does well. And then I got the Picasso Invis Wire. Invis R Wire. I ain't never tried this one either, but I like the color. Uh, this is 3 8 ounce. And the color is Royal Red Crawl. I got this mainly because uh, it rained and my pond is still not back to clear. I thought it was going to be, but it's not. And so this is like a reddish. I mean, it, it could go for a crawfish, but I'm more so, you know, making it stand out in that dirty water. Alright, and then we got some more of the Axle Swim Jigs. I got the Blue, I think it's Bluegill Fire. They're all 3 8 ounce. Yep, this is Bluegill Fire. Then I got Candy Bluegill, which is my favorite color that I make. And then I got a Sixified Shad color, so I just wanted a Shad color. Perfect. So that's exciting to try. Alright, next, everything else is literally plastics. Uh... Half of this is stuff that I know that I wanted to try, and then the other half is just because it was on sale. Thanks, Tiger Warehouse. So, this was on sale, and it actually looks a lot better than I thought it was going to be. This is only $2, so I picked it up. This is the Jackal uh, Sazuteki Crawl. I'm not, I butchered that, I'm sorry. It's a 4-inch crawl, and it's watermelon red flake. It's a really, really nice crawl. I think... It's got like a slender profile, so I feel like when the bass start getting up in the, uh, so I can see this line here, they get up in that grass, when it mat it's dead right now, but when it mats up, they like to hide up under it, and I like to just take a heavy weight and just punch it through that grass there, and a slender profile like this 
helps it to do that so I think that'll work pretty well uh, next up I got I didn't realize these were that small but I can use them for a drop shot um, I should have known though when it said three and a half inches the jet wasn't going to be big <laughs> so this is the Kitek Easy Shaker in electric bluegill really really small little worm I, don't, I thought it would be fatter than that but it, it, it's not but I can use that as a drop shot it's a challenge and then I got the Live Impact 4 inch. I got the Sahara Olive Flake. So this is better for when the water clears up. I might dip the tail in chartreuse. And then I got Blue Flake. This is going to be a really, really nice drop shot worm. Alright. Then, I'm trying not to cough. If you can tell. Alright, so... I got a three inch Alive Shad Margarita Mutilator color. It's my favorite color that Robo Worm makes. Really, really good color. I've never tried this worm, but I thought it'd be good on a drop shot. So I got that. Then I got four and a half inch. These are the fat straight tail worms. This is Tackle Warehouse uh, Black Glue Pumpkin. This is a really, really nice green pumpkin color. I got baby bass. You see it right there. Really, really nice triple laminate color. And then I got bait ball, which is probably my favorite one. It's like a purple, but it's got a lot of glitter. A lot of silver glitter in it. It's also a triple laminate. It's purple on the top, and then it's got black, and then it's got clear on the bottom. Really, really nice color. And then I got a six inch. Uh, straight tail plum sunrise. I liked this color a lot. Got pink on, oh, not pink, uh, like a cranberry color on the top and then the, this purplish blue on the bottom. I think that's going to be a really, really nice worm. Can't wait really to try that too. Uh, and then in my last unboxing, I was talking about this hog farmer baits for my chatter baits. Um, apparently, this is good for the free rig too, so I'm glad I bought more of them. I got two. Of the three and a half inch natural gill color. Got two. And then I got another June bug. I got another of the Green Pumpkin Magic. I was telling y'all I was mad because I only bought one of each, so now I got two of each. Except for this one, which I'm mad about now. <laughs> this is Crystal Shad. Really, really, really beautiful color. So it's like a natural shad color, but it's got copper flake in it. And you can't really tell uh, because of all the silver flake, but that subtle transition into the copper flake, I think it's going to whack. So fast. I'm just getting myself excited not catching fish. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then I want to try some Japanese lures, except for the jack off. So I paid full price for these. Uh, not, not, not a good idea when it's $10 a pack, but I did what I did. I don't regret it. This is the Death Adder 3 inch. I am not sure at all what color this is because it's in Japanese. But I'm pretty sure it's like a bluegill color. But it's got brown on the bottom. And the, well, I can't really tell what side's which. But anyway, one side's got brown and the one side's like that, uh, that zoom color. I don't remember what the color is, but it's got a lot of blue flake in it. Good drop drop bait. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. And then this is the Bull Flat 3 inch. And I would say this is a green pumpkin chartreuse color. It's literally what it looks like. I'm going to put this on the free rig. It's in Japanese, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry. Uh, and then I got the Flirt Worm. So I love these on a drop shot. I got Dirty Sanchez color. This is a great color for Dirty War. Dirty Sanchez. That's a 4.95 inch worm. And then apparently the rest of them are 6 inches. So we'll just call that a 5 inch worm. This is a 7 inch worm. So I got the hematoma color. I got the Okeechobee crawl color. And then I got Bloody Mary. So really nice colors. I think they'll do well. I've I've used the worm in the past, and I had a good luck with it on the drop shot, so I wanted to get some more. 
the rest of this crap was on sale and I just couldn't help myself so <laughs> uh, I got the quiver 6.5 and this is bruised plum I think it's bruised plum yep bruised plum color I, I like this color I should have got two of these makes me mad that I didn't but oh well and then I got Blutonium Green Pumpkin Core. Nice color there. And then I got Watermelon Red Core. Really, really cool worm. I like that a lot. So there's that. And then, these are not on sale, uh, but I wanted these. These are the Mini D Chunk Bruiser Flash. Uh, Shad Flash and Black Neon. I'm gonna take the Black Neon out of the pack. Let's see what it looks like. This is what this little booger looks like, and I think that it's gonna be work really well for a trailer. And I might even try to take this rigger by itself, because you know I'm just crazy like that, and I will do it. So we're gonna catch a fish on this, no matter how we rig it. And we're gonna start to try it anyway. Right, get it back in the pack because my fingers are cold. <laughs> all right then i got the drop crawl these are two dollars a pack so literally cannot i couldn't i couldn't do it you know i just could not help myself but click add to car so i got fish delicious this is a shad with blue holographic flake i got pb and j which is you know pb and j and then just regular green pumpkin i thought that would work well in the drop shot he might can Ned rig these, but they're not really fat enough. So I think they'll work on a drop shot. These work really good on a drop shot. These are the bomb shots. This is candy bomb color. And then cherry blossom. It's probably the, my two favorite colors that Missile Bates makes. These are these are tried and true. These these work. I've actually tried these before. Um, and they work. So Next up, I got the 48 in Watermelon Red. This is just a stick bait. And then June Bug. And then, these are not on sale either, but I wanted them. This is the... Would you shut up? Them crows will not leave that hawk alone. Leave them alone. I wish that thing would just just get them right there so we could just all watch it. <coughs> anyway, I got the Baby Destroyer. I got Candy Bomb color because that color is sick. I got the Shrapnel. I got this because of the name. It looks cool. <laughs> shrapnel color. All it is is like, this is like the, uh, one of the gill colors from Six in it. It, looks, it literally looks just the same. Uh, and then this is Bruiser Flash. So it's just black and blue. But theirs has silver flake in it. And then lastly, these are on sale, and I saw I just couldn't help myself. I had to get them all. So the Ned Bomb is, I don't like it as a Ned Rig bait. I like it as a drop shot. Uh, so that's what I bought them for. This is Baby Bass Tail, PB and J. That's a sick color. Watermelon Red Core, Black and Blue Flake. Blutonium Green Pumpkin Core. Uh, green Pumpkin Ghost Tail. Green Pumpkin with the clear tail. Uh, orange Green Pumpkin Core. And then my favorite, Grape Soda Tail. So, I think all these beds are going to do really, really good. I'm so very excited for it. Uh, but I'm gonna clean all this up and I'm gonna try to rig up some baits and then I'm gonna sit here and sit down and decide if I want to film a rod and reel arsenal today or tomorrow. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will see y'all on the next one.